Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obra Potato, and this is Archio Shinar. This is an economic strategy game, uh, sort of set in a world of exploration and intrigue. Yeah, so we're gonna jump uh, right on into a custom game. Uh, I've completed the tutorial. I would like to draw your attention to the fact that the tutorial is in five bits, and it legitimately took me about 40 minutes to complete the tutorial. Uh, so the mechanic mechanics in this game are uh, are fairly extensive. I'm not entirely sure that I understand all of them as ever, uh, but I'm going to be jumping right on into uh, to a brand new custom game as I've already said. Uh, the game is published by Artists Entertainment and uh, we'll jump right into it right now. Uh, my name is Over the Potato. There we go. Uh, what do I want to look like? I mean, that is a pretty that is a pretty that is a pretty banging look. Wow, Ooh, that is that is lovely. That is absolutely fantastic, and uh, we need to select the stamp, and uh, and then we're going to jump right on into it. Right, so I'm going to try Greetings. my very best to explain what's You're going on. We're glad that such an accomplished and promising right. person has appeared on our radar. Yes. We've been following you. Yes, your... okay. Well, that is something that I need to draw attention to right from the get-go. There is a lot of spoken dialogue in this game. The tutorial was all completely spoken uh, by this character down here, uh, Cuppy, uh, apparently. Uh, it was... The writing was pretty poor, I gotta say. I, I didn't really understand what was going on. Anyway, uh, let's talk about the game rather than talking about the tutorial. This is the uh, this is the lobby, and this is where most of the action happens. Uh, where do I even begin? Right, so, the main screen that we will be uh, spending time on is the expedition screen. So each and every turn, and there are 30 turns in the game, uh, you get offered a different bunch of expeditions, and the whole aim of the game is to put together a team, a team of people, a team of archaeologists who uh, who stay in the quarters, apparently. Uh, barracks sort of thing, I guess. It's a lovely castle by the looks of it. Uh, you need to put together a team. Uh, everyone has different traits, so if I click on EG Squire, you can see that, uh, that he's got a bunch of different traits. This will all come in handy uh, in a little bit. There's a specific salary. We can teach him different stuff. We can change his attitude, etc, etc, etc. We need to make sure that we obviously pick the right skill set for the right expedition, and that is uh, that is part of the challenge. We want to make sure that, you know, we've got a, a good representative team, uh, but at the same time, we've got enough skills required to, to, to pass all of the quests. We can hire a, a bunch of new people, although only up to up to ten. And we've got to bear in mind that we uh, that we need to pay salaries, and uh, and we only have five grand in the bank at the moment. This is a reputation score, which uh, which we'll get to in a little bit. Uh, warehouse, we'll talk about this when we have something to stick in here, I guess. Uh, the merchant company. This is where we can buy a, a whole bunch of uh, different bits and bobs, which will affect the success rate of our of our expeditions. Uh, stimulants. Stimulants can be used to, uh, they can be used to, yeah, see, they can be used to increase somebody's success chance, I believe, during an expedition. Uh, so you need, uh, John Stevens needs a little bit of, uh, of coffee, and he's also sure that the pyramids were built by aliens. Well, ain't that the truth? Uh, you need tobacco, you need gin, you need coffee, etc, etc, etc. Also, the music in this game. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, right, where were we? Merchant company. Yep. So that's that. Uh, I think these are a bunch of different. Uh, these are a bunch of different uh, bits and bobs which can affect the success rate of all of your expeditions. Not entirely sure how this plays into plays into the game, but we'll 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 get to that in a little bit. Black market. So the black market is where we can sell artifacts that we find uh, on a given expedition. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Uh, and then over here, this is perhaps the weirdest aspect of the game. Uh, this is the property management screen, so we can actually actually participate in property auctions, and we can build our own gin distilleries in order to produce gin, etc. It's really weird, but it's great. Uh, so, there is a land selling price of 750 at the moment, so there is actually a bit of, uh, there is a bit of land that is being auctioned. This is Fisher's Coast. And it's got all of these different values, which also play into the game in some weird way. Um, I want to, I want to bid. I want to bid like 600. I'll bid. I'll bid 749, right? So basically three pounds under the uh, the price that uh, that it's actually worth. And I believe we should find out 
next turn uh, what the situation is with regards to that. We've obviously committed £750 of our money. Uh, and then this is the last screen over here. This is the press. So each and every time we go on an expedition, we get a story from it. Now, uh, it's up to us to make sure that we are offering the, uh, the story to the appropriate journal. And we're, uh, we're capitalizing uh, we're capitalizing on that relationship and gaining favors. And, you know, you know maybe, uh, maybe making away with a little bit of reputation as well. Uh, there's also the Royal Chess Club. Uh, so we can go to the Royal Chess Club and speak to the editors of the different newspapers. So you can see you're the chief ed editor of the Age of Decadency Journal, and uh, and we can use we can use uh, favors in order to influence the editors of the different journals. This game is pretty pretty darn crazy. Uh, write a letter. We can write letters apparently. Don't know why we'd want to do that. Maybe maybe we will indeed. Uh, ranking and charts. This is actually quite important as well. We'll. Uh, We'll have to see. We'll have to see exactly what happens. These are all of our opponents. General Joseph Arn Knabel, Boyar Nikolai Raztopchin, Kin, uh, Francisco Ruiz Valquez. Okay, all right. Well, I think we've uh, we've faffed around enough. Let's let's see if we can jump right on into an expedition now. Let me have a quick little look at my at my team. Is there any skill that my team really excel in? Not really. Everyone seems like a little bit of a, a, a you know, a general... A bit of a generalist, to be honest. That's fine. That's totally fine. Let's, um... Let's see if we can jump into a, into an expedition. So this, um, this expedition particularly requires logistics. Archaeology and survival. Yeah, we also need to bear in mind the reward. So there's a one reputation, 2,000, 2000 pound reward, and, uh, and a 300 pound reward if you fail the mission, because you can fail missions. That's definitely something that's possible. Uh, yeah, I don't think we want to start off with a challenging difficulty mission. I think we want to start with a, an easy difficulty mission. So let's do that. Wowzers, we absolutely do not have anywhere near enough uh, explorers in order to do this. That's a bit of a bummer. Um, I mean, why don't we go and hire... Why don't we go and hire two extra people? Attitude is risky. That's a bit of a problem. We'll talk a little bit about that in a little bit. But for now, let's just go back to the expedition and start the expedition. And then that'll give me a wonderful opportunity to talk about the mechanics of the uh, of the expedition and how it all works. Right. So as you can see, uh, this wonderful little screen is uh, is what the expedition is, and we've come upon a random event, and we need to find somebody who is an archaeologist. You are particularly archaeology oriented. You have the highest. Uh, you have the highest. No, we need we need an exploration, dude. This this guy, okay, fine, whatever. Uh, so if we if we have a high enough skill, then uh, then we succeed with the with the check, and then we're able to continue on. Now the important thing to remember is that once you've used a uh, once you've used a dude in a random event or a dudette, uh, then uh, then they cannot be used again. Some events require require two people, so you got to be you got to be careful who you choose. 24, 29, yeah, so you and you, so we're, uh, we're doing double expedition. Now, we can, of course, choose not to put anyone forward, although that will have, uh, negative effects. And then there's also, uh, sort of little, like, stimulated mini-events as we go. Uh, anyone good with exploration? Okay, not fantastically good, but that's not a problem. Anyway, yeah, so there's a couple of little, uh... John's, John Stevens worries that orbitals, orbital potatoes' relation with uh, Cuppy is unhealthy. Well, that's absolutely for sure. Let's put you forward. Brilliant. Should be a success. Fantastic. Yeah, so that's what we do. We, um, we go on a little expedition. We get to the end. We stick you in. I think we're probably going to fail this because it requires somebody who has Exploration Plus. Now... Our exploration is, uh, is, well, it's pretty poor, to be honest. So, yeah, well, that's great. Well, I'm delighted. So, there's a success chance if you have above a certain percentage, I believe. The mechanics are somewhat lost on me, I must say. Uh, but anyway, we completed the expedition, and, uh, and that worked, seemingly, relatively well. We gained our reputation, we gained our 2,000 bucks, and, uh, we did as well gain a fear. Now, a fear is a, uh, a phobia. Now, it applies to, it applies to 
Alfred Hallowell here, and I have absolutely no idea what that fear specifically does, but I'm sure we're about to find out. All right, and now we're on round two, and that is pretty much the game. Uh, we haven't yet seen a change in our cash, but I'm sure that uh, I'm sure that the information bestowed upon us in these letters will uh, will update accurately. I hope our financial situation, and also let us know if we've uh, succeeded in buying that little bit of land. So let's open these seals and let's see what's going on. Right, so that was a very, very expensive expedition. Looks like we did indeed turn a profit. Uh, now, we can choose not to pay... We can choose not to pay the salaries at this point. Um, although, we have a three strikes and you're out sort of rule. So, we can, um, we can postpone payment for a while, but not inevitably. I'm just going to choose to pay the salaries at this point. That's fine. Your attempt to buy the land ended in a failure, but you're getting your money back. Ah, okay, so... My opponent bought the land for 840 bucks. I had the lowest bid. That kind of sucks, but it's okay. It's not a problem. For your last expedition, you get 2,000 pounds and one point of reputation. Fantastic. Okay, so that takes us back to, you know, about 383 pounds. I say about 383 pounds. Exactly 383 pounds more than we originally had. Right, so let's have a little look. Let's have a little look at our... Let's have a little look at our expeditions. So, as it turns out, all of the journals, all of the, the gazettes are completely uninterested in our story. So, as you can see, we can give an exclusive license to uh, to any one of these, uh, these journals. Or, alternatively, we can share our stories with everyone. And, in fact, I might just do that. What's this little box up there for? What's the little box doing up there? I, I have no idea. No idea what that little box is doing. Um... Yeah, okay. Don't know why we're in the Royal Chess Club at the moment. I don't think there's anything that we can really do here. Uh, also, something... Uh, something to... Something to bear in mind. I have no idea what any of this means, by the way. Uh, something that we should bear in mind is that you can only... You can only do one action in the Royal Chess Club per round. So, you can only uh, influence the editors once. Right, I think we're just going to share our story with absolutely everyone. Yeah, let's do it. Everyone loves your story. Your popularity is rising. Brilliant. Okay, so our current popularity is uh, is on the up and up. Uh, now, I do believe, though, I do believe that this has a negative effect on your reputation. Look at all of the... Look at all of this. Yeah, so... Royal Chess Club. There's 15... There's 15 pages. 15 pages in, uh, in Gazette's. favors yeah no whatever it doesn't it doesn't particularly it doesn't particularly matter for now but uh, but all i know is that that's fine okay right let's go back to property management and see if we can try and actually get uh, get a good bit of property what's the what's the selling price on this 650 bucks i mean i really 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 would like to try and get this uh, this bit of property i mean it's really quite important so let's let's go up to 850 uh, let's go up to 900, in fact. Let's bid 900 for Bleak Hills. Absolutely horrible name for what I'm sure is a lovely place. Uh, but we'll, you know, we'll, uh, we'll play the game. We'll play the game. We'll see what the heck is going on. Right, so let's talk about, uh, let's talk about forecasting, because this is actually kind of important. So, uh, there are three ages in the game. Each age has, uh, sort of ten, ten turns. So, uh, as you can see, we can get rudimentary information about some of the events that are going to be offered in the... Or some of the expeditions that are offered in the next age, or the next the next turn, really. In fact, we can technically have a little look about what's, uh, what's required all the way up to here. Now, this is just one of the events that we're going to be offered. There, there will be others, but, um, but this is, this is one of them. So it might be, it might be an idea to try and see if we can find, you know, some explorers who have traits that, uh, that will be particularly useful in, in round three in the Into the Jungle event. Alternatively, we can head on over to our quarters and, uh, and we can see if we can improve, if we can learn maybe people's survival skills. That would be a pretty darn good idea. Now, this does indeed cost us a little bit of money, but I think we'll do it. I think I want to improve your exploration if at all possible but that's not super possible survival let's improve survival yep i'm trying to sort of find 
exceptional people and uh, and improve their skills if at all possible. Survival, combat capability, combat capability, sure. I mean, it's good to it's good to try and improve it's good to try and improve people's skills just as often as we possibly can, from my understanding, anyway. There we go. Alfred Hallowell, yeah. So your fear, your fear has a negative effect in history and combat capability, and that's when you received uh, the fear. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. One day. One day will die, like every other human being. One day will die. Indeed. Words to live by, Alfred. Uh, also, your attitude is precarious. Now, we can actually... We can actually... Modify... Modify people's attitude? I really... I mean, I think I understand how this works, but it's... It's... It's just... It's weird. So this... I think... I think it... I think this impacts the skills that, that the explorers have, and this changes the percentage change or something. It's a percentage chance of getting a fear, so the, so the more risky people are, or the more insane slash precarious people are, the higher the chance of getting a fear. Sure, let's bump it, let's bump it up, see, see if you are actually any more insane. I mean, you are very insane, but hopefully your skills will be better. I think that's how it works. I don't actually know. Uh, let's go back to the labor market and see what's going on. James McBride. No, no. Let me have a little look at our expeditions, see what the situation is. Archaeology is required. I mean, archaeology is not a bad... Uh, a bad one for us. Moderate. I think we want to probably take a moderate quest. I don't really feel like attempting a, uh, a hard one. Let's go for this one. Uh, geology is required. That's fine. Let's, um, let's pop across to the... We didn't even get any... We didn't even get anything to stick in our warehouse. We don't have any items. Yeah, it's literally, literally empty. What's the point of having a warehouse if we if we ain't got nothing in it? Uh, let's go to the merchant company and see if we can buy some gin. Sure. Let's buy some gin and we'll see if we can... Well, hey, we're filling up the warehouse. See if we can take the, uh, the gin on our expedition. I have absolutely no idea who requires the gin, but, uh, you know, hey-ho, I guess we'll see, won't we? Right. Let's take the whole crew with us. Let's, um... Let's take some gin. I also have absolutely no idea how the gin figures into this. I mean, the tutorial taught me lots of things. But, uh, but absolutely nothing to do with the items. So, so there we go. Alright, geology. Who's, who's our geologist? Do we have any geologists on board? You're not bad. Brilliant. I tell you what, I love this screen. It's fantastic. Uh, got ill after drinking local water. He put the blame on the Pharaoh's curse, but it was probably just a hangover. Ain't that the truth? That's impacted by the Pharaoh's curse, if you know what I mean. Right. Well, hey, success. Fantastic. Now, I also believe, I also believe that since we do literally have somebody that's insane, I think I've just used the insane guy, actually. Uh, but I was going to say, we have an insane guy. Maybe it's not the greatest idea to deploy him, because I believe if we stick him into a random event, then there is a chance that he will go uh, a little bit a little bit more insane and, uh, and be even more fearful than he already is. So that's a risk that we run by, by giving him a, a shot at these random events. However, if we don't complete enough random events, then I do believe... Yep, that task is too hard. If we don't complete enough random events, then uh, I do believe that that is going to result in an unsuccessful mission. Expedition is a success. Fantastic. But we picked up three fears. And I'm pretty certain... Traumatophobia. Entomophobia. Angliophobia. Cool. Okay. Grand. Well, that's uh, resulted in a bunch of cash. Maybe this is going to provoke an interesting story. I'm going to pay everyone's salary. Yes. Way, we bought the land. And I'm massively overpaid. 
hugely overpaid. Ooh, what is this? It's five o'clock, you're in the office, and something unimaginable happened. You have a free evening today. This is new. What should you do in the so-called free time? Is it so-called free if everyone calls it this way? Actually, you feel a little bit odd. No paychecks to sign, no letters to burn, no foolish explorers with their irrelevant problems. The guy at the corner was right. The end is near. What do you do? Madam Barlow's organizing a ball tonight. Nothing changes, at least for now. And 3,500 pounds and two points of reputation. Wonderful. I can actually send letters to people. Wow, and it's going to cost me 100 pounds. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? This game can actually play be played by um, with, with, a, with a hot seat multiplayer uh, system. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, uh, there should be a survival mission. Yeah, there is indeed a survival mission. Recompense of 1,300 pounds. I mean, that's enough to cover the salaries of everyone involved in the exploration mission. And if we do pull it off, then that would be that would be absolutely incredible. Uh, yeah. Did I take did I take Jin on the mission? Did I use Jin on the mission? I I don't know. I don't actually know. Honestly, we haven't even had anything to do with the black market yet. Uh, right. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can pay. What like 700 pounds for this? 750 pounds. Let's bid 750 for that. Also, since we now own a, uh, a property, we can build something here. How fun is that? So, uh, we can build something on it. We can choose to build a coffee plantation. That will provide us with a uh, replenishing a, pre a replenishing stock of coffee. So that's, you know, similar to the uh, tobacco dis uh, plantation and the gin distillery. All of those will uh, will provide us the exact same stuff that we can buy in the, in the merchant company. Now, the merchant company, interestingly... Uh, the merchant company, the merchant company will vary the price of all of the stimulants, and if I buy some of the stimulants, or if my opponents buy the stimulants, then the price increases for everyone. So as you see, I bought gin last turn, and the price has shot up now to, what, over 400, really, that's, that's kind of ludicrous. Uh, similarly, I suspect that somebody bought coffee on round one, and that's what shot it up to 400. So, I mean, straight from the get-go, it would be really, really good if we could get a, uh, a you know, a distillery of, of some sort, or a sort of a, a manufacturing area of some sort. Casino as well, if your neighbors uh, have enough money, you can build the casino. It's the best investment to do. Medium cost, very high revenue. It's like a dream. I mean, I don't know how much that's going to give me, but that would be quite nice. A hotel, a hotel will increase the number of uh, explorers that we can hold in the quarters, so we might just do that. Uh, oh, you can scroll down. A uh, train station, a train station allows us to, I think it's take more stimulants per turn uh, on an expedition, I believe. Training center, champion's train loses complain. <laughs> champion's train loses complain. Training center allows you to train your cadets better for a lower price. That would be really, really good. Uh, an exclusive club. Do you know what exclusivity means? Yes, I do. Um, with this uh, building, you can attract more explorers on the labor market and probably can decrease the salary of your managers. Uh, that's something else that we'll talk about once we've built whatever we're going to build. A museum. The best way to save artifacts, you can put everything you care about into a museum and later turn it into a better reputation. Why would I not want to turn it into a better reputation? Uh, and a cruise steamboat, a new invention that allows us to discover new horizons of tourism and decrease your employees' salaries. Well known for attracting legendary explorers. Legendary explorers, another mechanic, which are great. Legendary explorers basically have uh, have a hundred in one skill, so they are guaranteed to have a hundred in archaeology, history, linguistics, combat capability, geology, survival, or exploration. They are pretty sickeningly good, uh, and uh, and really really darn good if we can get them. Right. So what do I want to build? What do I want to build? I I want to know. I want to know how the how the casino would come into would come into play. Have you? Have you bought... I mean, I don't I don't know how much the casino is going to generate for me. I kind of want to try with the casino. Sure. Sure. Let's give it a... Let's give it a shot. Let's, let's get the casino up and running. And let's also assign a manager. So positive features, manager's combat capability, manager's survival, population density. This, this area is pretty population dense anyway, so presumably the more dense the population is, the more... Um, 
the more money we get. Negative features, urbanization. So I think you want a lower urbanization level. So in terms of bleak kills, I think we've actually got a pretty good, uh, pretty good deal here. Right, so we need somebody with a high combat capability. And ideally survival skill. I mean, you're not bad, actually. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I think we're gonna... I think we're gonna equip you. And so, you can, uh, you can manage. That's fine. We got a casino. I don't know how much this is gonna bring in. I guess we'll have to wait and see, right? I don't know if there's a, a way that we can look at our finances, but that's okay. Uh, we've still got a story from the previous... Previous area. Um, why don't I try and... Nobody's, nobody's bothered about my story. Nobody's even slightly bothered, which makes me think that I just want to share my story. But I feel like I should start giving... I should start giving one of these newspapers just the exclusive license so that I can guarantee a little bit, a little bit of a favor. Uh, why don't we give it to the Royal Archaeology people. No, okay, that, that didn't even, that didn't even, that didn't even register on the, the metaphorical uh, Richter scale. Current popularity is one. Okay, I mean, that's great. Let me uh, check my, check my relation. Impartial. Alright, nobody is at all bothered by anything that I've got to say. That's completely fine. Alright, so we've got the expedition ready to go soon. You're in management now. Uh, do we want to pick up a labor market? I don't think we do. Do. I don't, do we want to pick up anyone? I don't think we're, we're really that bothered. What I do want to do is do a little bit of training before I, uh, before I go. So let's see if we can try and sort of just level up people. There we go. I would like to level up anything with the largest increase, really. I think I just want to, I just want to, I just want to increase. Linguistics or exploration? Exploration, yeah. So you're up to 50 in exploration. You're, uh, you're quite a pro, actually. Also, by the way, I should have mentioned earlier, I don't believe that fears can actually be, uh, can actually be cured. Once, once you are fearful, you are, you're, well, I mean, you're, it's tough luck, really. It's, uh, it's, it's tough luck. You're in trouble. Okay. Florentin Rue. What a wonderful name. Survival or exploration? Uh, we'll do exploration. I'm just trying to maximize sort of the best that we possibly can. Uh, can I change your attitude? Yeah, let's change you change you down a little bit. I still have absolutely no idea what the, the whole attitude thing does, but, you know, it's something, that's for sure. I'm pretty sure it impacts the skill level, but, uh, but again, I don't know. Neutral. Risky. Uh, let's put you down to change to more secure. Yeah. I think we want, to be honest, everyone's attitude to be more secure. Fears are just such a... They're such a negative thing. They really are very, very bad. Maybe I should start prioritizing them slightly differently. Anyway, I'm down to 1,600 and bucks. 1,600 bucks? That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, we're gonna start our expedition in just a second. Let me go to the merchant company and see if I can buy some tobacco. Buy some coffee. Buy... Maybe buy one of these things. I think that's plus 5 to E, plus 5 to L. Plus five to C. I'm pretty sure that's combat ability. Pretty sure that's exploration. Pretty sure that's linguistics. So let me see what uh, what I want to do. Survival. Survival, archaeology, linguistics. Archaeology. Uh, survival, five explorers, six explorers, five explorers. I think... I mean, if that's going to be challenging, then we might as well... We might as well do this one. I think is hard. What's the difference between hard and challenging? <laughs> I have no idea. Let's um let's give this a shot, shall we? Sure. Alfred, even though you are very, 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 very unstable, I, I still think you're the best guy for the job. There we go. E. G. Squire. 
yeah, I think this is a, I think this is a reasonably good uh, a good crew. I'm not super bothered about uh, missing out on Arthur Evans. That's uh, you know that's, that's a price that I'm perfectly willing to pay. I don't think we want to to get any items. I say that. Let's take let's take both gin and tobacco. I think that just increases success chance. I'm just not sure. Let me see what Cuppy says about it. I'll see what Cuppy says about it in a little bit. Survival plus. Right, does anyone have a particularly high survival skill? You're not bad. Unforgettable failure. Learnt plus one survival. I mean, that's a positive, right? What's the recompense for if I fail this mission? Because I feel like we're heading that way. Linguistics 27. I'm sure I pumped up somebody's li linguistics pretty darn high recently. 41. Fantastic. Brilliant. That's the sort of successes that I like to see. Geology and survival. Yeah, you're not bad. Failure! Oh no. Not even an unforgettable failure. Which presumably is slightly better. Survival... Right, I mean, now we're really scraping the bottom of the barrel. We're scraping the bottom of the barrel, and I believe that the, the difficulty of a mission... That task may be too much for me. You have to choose an explorer for this event? Do I have to? Alright. If others explore the world as you do, we would still be in the Stone Age. Shame on you. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Well, this looks like a failed expedition. Even though... Even though there was gin and, uh, oh no, there was tobacco and coffee involved. Right, let me actually briefly just check. Cool. You've got 900 and... What? Oh, what? That's an incredible amount of money from the casino. Um, I mean, yeah, I can afford to pay the salaries of everyone. Your attempt to buy the land ended in failure. That's a shame. That's a, that's a big old bummer. Uh, two workers have totally different political views. It's a small matter. As it turns out, the answer is no. No politics on the job. You're kidding me. Sociophobia. What the heck is sociophobia? Is that just... What the heck? Oh my goodness. Oh, that is... That is awful. That is absolutely awful. Okay. Are the press interested? Oh, look at this. Look at this. There is half-hearted interest in our story. Yes, we received uh, the Age of Decadency favor. Brilliant. Brilliant. So we got a favor with uh, with, uh, with with you. That's fantastic. Okay. Uh, land auction. Let's uh, let's see if we can try and do this. Also, uh, there is some strategy to land auctions. So, um, if we gain four if we gain four, uh, four lands, as they're called, in a specific area, then we're able to assign one manager to manage all of the four at the same time. Otherwise, you'd have to assign one manager to each and every property, if that makes sense. So you can really, really cut down on your costs if you get all of the lands in a specific area. So any of the four, any of the four groups. Uh, 650, let me, I'm going to bid 800 bucks on this. 850 bucks. I mean, look, if I can get another casino, then that'd be great. What's the what's this area like? It's not actually that bad, but it's not uh, not great for a casino, but it would be good for a distillery of some sort. Yeah, that'd be pretty darn good. Um anyone is anyone any any good? You're not really great. Wants to find proof that Santa Claus is real. What more proof do you need? He brings, he brings presents every, on the night of the 24th of December, each and every year. I don't know what you're talking about. Right, let's, let's, let's learn everyone, shall we? Should we, should we make everyone a little bit more learned? I think that's a good idea. Right, exploration, no. E no exploration, no option for exploration, that's a bit of a bummer. Survival, history... Yeah, okay. I mean, this is going to be... This is going to be pretty... It's going to be pretty tight. We're going to... We're going to be straight out of cash very, very soon. Uh, I don't really want to put points into survival, as you can see, because we've already got a phobia that affects survival, but... Uh, 
everything else is pretty grim. Actually, archaeology is not bad. We'll put you put it into archaeology, sure. Uh, geology, nope. Goodness me, give me give me stuff that I actually want to improve with these people. Exploration. Your exploration's pretty decent. You do not have enough money to do that. How much? How much does it cost? Is it two hundred? Is it two hundred thirty bucks to train? Oh yes, I was gonna check. Uh, stimulants, expeditions. Give me, give me some. Look at all! Look at all this! Look at all this! That's absolutely bonkers. Any, any, any idea on, uh, on stimulants? Merchant company. Stimulants zone. Yeah, I, I get the idea. I get the idea of, uh, of it. Three types of boosters. Yeah, okay. So, the boosters, as I, uh, as I suspected, do impact the success chance of expeditions but stimulants however absolutely zero conception of how they impact the game i know they impacted you know for the better but um but i'm just not sure right seven explorers we can't manage that we literally cannot manage that challenging okay i think challenging is challenging is less hard than hard okay so we're we're after people with uh with archaeology traits here Let's try and get absolutely everyone that's got a half decent archaeology rating. Uh sure. I'll take you. Okay, I mean look, this is gonna be a little bit tight. Uh, we need uh we need this we need this expedition to come through so our finances can be uh can be slapped back into shape. Although, in saying that, I mean my uh you're our best archaeologist, I think. Yeah, you. This guy. No. This guy. Yeah, there we go. Success! Beautiful. Uh, yeah, so our casino hopefully is going to come through. And, uh, and we should be fine, I think, on the, uh, on the whole casino front. Uh, on the whole casino front, certainly to try and... Oh, you've got 50 exploration. Don't actually think we need 50 exploration. 34, I think, might be just fine. Brilliant. So we've kept our... We've kept our 50 exploration guy just for a little bit later, which might might come in handy. Uh, geology requires all three. Is anyone particularly good at geology? Unfortunately, not. That's a success anyway. Well, that's pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. Looks like a successful expedition to me. There we go. Brilliant. We did pick up a phobia. It's on Alfred. Alfred is our uh, our phobia magnet. Maybe he should be renamed as such. Well, hey, 4,500 pounds. Wonderful. Casino generated a loss of 329 due to low population density or urbanization of the lands. What? Uh... Attempt to buy the land ended in failure. Free evening. Balls never change? What is this? Um... Okay. Fine. Great. We've just lost reputation for... I, I, well, I, sh I should have read it, but I, I didn't really care that much. Okay. Is anyone interested? No one is interested. Share the story. Everyone loves you. Your popula popularity is rising. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I love... I love popularity. Uh, that's great. I am absolutely, absolutely outraged. First of all, that we made a loss. How did we make a loss? How did we make a loss? I have absolutely no idea. And, um, and we need to try. We need to try and actually outbid this guy on property. I feel like, I feel like I can make, ooh, fertility. Fertility, I think, would probably be really, really good if we wanted to get a stimulant each and every turn. Let's bid 1,100 uh, pounds. It's quite a lot of money. Quite a lot of money for a fair bit of land, but that's fine. Right, history. Do we have anyone that's really good at history? I don't actually know. 
Okay, two history. Two hist- that's a- that's a mammoth. Okay. Moderate. Let's give this a shot. Let's give this one a shot. It's, uh, it's challenging. It requires archaeology and geology, but I think we might just be able to- might just be able to cope. Let's see if we can... Exploration... Yeah, you know what? We'll buy... We'll buy a tent. We'll buy a tent. That'll be fun. Not gonna buy anything else. Gonna go to the quarters, and we're gonna teach some more people how to do some stuff. Uh, geology we will level up, because I think we actually do want to, to teach uh, stuff about geology. Also, I should probably... Exploration. Wonderful. Uh, I should probably start to think about, you know, actually actually looking ahead and seeing if there is a, uh, a specific mission that we should uh, that we should target for and uh, that would be using the the sort of forecast mechanic that I was uh, that I was talking about a little bit earlier so you know perhaps we could look ahead to to this one perhaps and we could uh, we could kit out our team specifically for round 10 maybe it's 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 an idea maybe uh, maybe for the future right we'll uh, we'll see but for now let me just see if I can get everyone leveled up I don't think that there is I don't think there is any sort of mission that I'm really that bothered about. I just want to make sure that everyone is is good enough at everything at the moment. Yeah, we don't have anyone that's particularly good at anything. But we're working on it. Alfred, oh my goodness, you are so... so bad. Uh, let me see if I can reduce your attitude. Yeah, change to more secure. Yeah, you are, you are not, you are not great. You are on the edge of your seat. Put it that way. Uh, bought that. Black market. We still haven't picked up anything for the black market. We could buy something. We could buy something. Uh, now. We can bid absolutely everything. Sure. Sure. Bid absolutely everything. I have no idea how much it's worth. I'm, there might have been there might have been some sort of notice there, but I'm not particularly bothered. Uh, search of wisdom, fine, cool. We are literally flat out of cash, so let's uh, let's let's see what we've got. Who do we want? Do we want you, or do we want you? In fact, you're both actually pretty darn good. John Stevens, you're pretty good too. You're pretty good as well. Okay, we actually have a lot of good people here. Uh, yeah, so let's remove, remove you, and then stick in Alfred instead. I don't like taking Alfred along, because, you know, he's a, he's just a disaster waiting to happen. Right, plus seven to survival across the, across the board. No idea if that's going to make any impact. It's not a particularly survival-oriented uh, mission. I also think that we can buy stuff on the market and just keep it for a couple of turns. Geology. Turns out we do actually have geology specialists. There we go. Geology specialists. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, there's a little green icon next to everyone's survival skill. And that is, of course, because we are modifying the survival skill with the uh, with the tent that we, uh, that we did indeed buy. I'm gonna put you in. Brilliant. And what else have we got? Archaeology, the last two last two people for archaeology. Grand. No issues there whatsoever. Any any decent events that actually give us any black market items? I have no idea, but that certainly will sort me out. Another person with what looks like sociophobia. So I'm pretty sure everyone has uh, has sociophobia. You've got agrophobia, which has got something to do with ladders. Not entirely sure how that works, but uh, delighted to uh, delighted to have it. I'm sure. Uh, yay! Five thousand three hundred uh, pounds and uh, a couple of points. Benjamin Fogg's a good friend of yours from the same yacht club. Wasn't uh, Fogg Phineas Phineas Fogg? Was he not the uh, 80, 80, yeah, there was a way to say, uh, around the world in 80 days. Not a big deal, he said, oh, Benjamin took a around the world trip in 81 days. 
often enjoy his company. So without any hesitation, during his ask you questions about money, connections, and properties. Is it just a friendly noisiness, or is he hiding some information from you? Let's just cut the small talk. Nothing changes for now, at least. You got 544 bucks from your casinos. Okay, that's not bad. Someone outbid you on the black market and didn't buy an artifact. You get the money back and we wish you more luck next time. Thank you. I wish me more luck next time too. Great, we just bought the land. And again, it feels like I'm massively overpaid, but look, it's worth it. Okay, um, what else What else do we want to try and do? I want to try and buy this. This is pretty high on absolutely everything, so it's not actually worth that much money. Uh, let me bid... 750 bucks for it, sure. Press. Anyone interested? Anyone interested? Level of interest, half hearted. Give an exclusive light uh, give an exclusive license to those guys then. Because they they actually don't don't hate it. Uh, let me go to the Royal Chess Club. Who's the editor that I'm looking for of the Age of Decadency journal? I think it's no. It's you. Use your favors. Aha! So, I can... You and your target lose one point of reputation. You lose one point of reputation. Your target loses three points of reputation. Your target loses two points of reputation. Well, I'm not really interested in doing that. Let's just check our relations. Current relations, uncommitted. Does this give me any information? I have absolutely no idea how that impacts anything whatsoever. Uh, I'm going to just try and buy stuff on the black market. I had a brother once, but he lost his soul in a casino. What the heck is that, Cuppy? Come on! By the way, you can't actually... You don't actually know what Cuppy's voice sounds like, but it's basically a pretty posh English woman's voice. Um, let me bid 1500 bucks. I have absolutely no idea what... Uh, what that's like, but we'll uh, we'll give it a shot. Also, let's go back to the merchant company, and let's just buy history textbook. Let's just buy absolutely everything that we've got from there. I'm not going to worry about stimulants. Stimulants can, uh, you know, can uh, can live to be used another day, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, also, we did indeed buy buy a land, as I believe it is called. Uh, so we should probably try and build a property over here. Now, um, casino is not going to be great here. A hotel, maybe, would be not super terrible. Train station as well. Negative features, urbanization. It's, it's pretty urban, to be honest. Exclusive club. Managers, archaeology, population density. Attract more explorers. Meh. Cruise steamboat. No, I think we want to build a coffee plantation. Managers, geology, gin distillery. Let's build a let's build a coffee plantation. I mean, look, it's it's so fertile over here that I think we're uh, you know we're missing a trick. Also, it's pretty much dirt cheap to uh, to get a. No, 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 no. It's pretty much dirt cheap to get a to get a plantation. Right, who's got a high geology skill? Any... Uh, you're not bad. Alfred. Yeah, Florin. Florentin. Yeah, sure. You can be... You can be... You can be the guy there. Uh, cool. So we've dealt with the press. Black market. We've bid on the black market. We bought a bunch of stuff from our warehouse. I have no idea what the size of our warehouse actually is. Can it... Uh, can it be kept forever? Who knows? Who knows? Nobody knows. Challenging. I think we want to accept a challenging mission. That's probably what we're going to want to try and do. Moderate. How many explorers are required for this? Yeah, I think we um, I think we give hostile territory a crack. Our combat capability is... I mean, leaves a little to be desired, but, you know, hey-ho. I could be a little bit nervous without my morning coffee. Well, from next turn onwards, we will have coffee every single day. Uh, do I care about anything? Survival, uh, history, history. I think these both uh, bump history. So I don't think we're going to equip any. Uh, I don't think we're going to equip any items. Maybe they'll disappear after this turn. Maybe they won't. Who knows? 
It's a total mystery. Exploration. Turns out that we do actually have a dude who is absolutely exploration-minded. It's John Stevens. Yep, absolutely perfect. John, you're my man. Success. There we go. That's what it's all about. Suspected uh, that under a graveyard is hidden an underground city. Authorities didn't agree on the excavation. Can you blame them? Really, can you blame them? Alfred seems like a little bit of a... You know... A little bit of a crazy dude. Alright. Yep. Success. Wonderful. Again, still no idea how the mechanics actually sort of come together in terms of uh, the mathematics. Uh, ruthless success. You found a pyramidon. Oh my goodness, that is, that has got a black market value, and boy oh boy oh boy, I love me some black market items. That's the first black market item that we've actually found. How great is that? Okay, combat capability for both of these guys, absolutely abysmal, uh, but still, it's a success, which is wonderful. The record of this event was erased, you wouldn't believe it anyway. How wonderful is that? That's great. Uh, this task is too much for me, yep, unfortunately, gonna be a failure, but, uh, but that's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Anyway, yeah, we got a black market item. And uh, a pretty good one at that, to be honest. Yeah, we pick up an artifact. We don't get any fears. And we get 3,000 get three thousand pounds for pretty much nothing. That's not bad at all. You've got one unit of coffee from your plantation. Wonderful. 729 bucks from your... 727 bucks from the casino. Lately, people associated with the world of archaeology talk a lot about the conflict between the government of Ecuador and a missionary named Chris Crespi. This individual buys foreign artifacts, plays really laughably small prices. According to the government, such auction is stealing. He says he disposes... Um, everyone involved in science is talking about this to so the Royal Archaeology Gazette. Take the government side. Plus one Royal Archaeology Gazette favor. I mean, look, you can't... I can't talk publicly about my black market activities. Otherwise, it would just be market activities, not black market activities. Sorry, your attempt to buy the land ended in failure. Really? This guy... You, great, you bought a new artifact. Wonderful. Um, I am absolutely petrified that, um, that my competitor is going to get three bits of property in this area. I'm interested in property over here. I'm interested in property over here. Uh, so... I'm just going to try and bid... I'm going to bid about a thousand pounds. Bid about a thousand pounds, because I really do want to increase the amount of property that I, uh, that I have. It really is rather, rather important. Okay, there's still... absolute garbage available on the, uh, on the market in terms of, in terms of the labor market. It kind of sucks. We've got a high priest's ring, which I overpaid for by about 500 bucks. We can go into the black market and see what's going on. Right, so... We can sell things on the black market, but uh, but our profit depends on a whole bunch of stuff. So this is the risk meter, uh, in terms of how much risk there is to sell on the black market. Also, there's the margin, which means something, I think. It's how much profit you actually get from selling on the black market. Now, uh, you can actually sell anything that you want on the black market at any time. However, it's better to try and sell the good that is on demand at the time uh, in any given circumstance. So if I had these rings, now would be a really, really great time to sell it because I believe, I believe the chance of, uh, of intervention from the police is, uh, is much reduced. So, uh, so that's, that's something to bear in mind. Turns out all of the items that we've got, uh, remain in our warehouse, which is lovely, which that means I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and buy all of these items right over here. I'm also gonna buy gin, and I'm gonna buy tobacco as well, just in case that comes in handy later on. How much is this... How much is this actually worth? Also... Share your story. Everyone loves you, popularity is rising. Yeah. We're working on our we're working on our relationship with uh, with the the age of decadency journal, but it's gonna take a while. Yeah. So, what do I want to do? Labor market. Is that it? How am I doing? Reputation seven, position rank one. I mean, that ain't that ain't bad. That ain't bad. I'm top of the list. I don't even know what the win condition is for this game. Is it just to have the maximum reputation at the end of the game? That's what I think it is. Archaeology, linguistics, challenging expedition, 
I think that's maybe what we're after. Combat capability and survival. What do my what do my items do? Oops. Combat capability. That's pretty good. And survival. Uh, although, unfortunately, we can't actually take that many items with us on any given expedition. I don't feel like I'm at the point where I can conceivably go on a super advanced level expedition. Linguistics, maybe. Maybe. Let's go, let's go back to our quarters, see if we can try and get a couple of people leveled up. There we go. Uh, geology, survival, or history? We'll take geology. Yeah, we'll take geology. Sure. Linguistics. Linguistics has already been, uh, heavily torpedoed by the phobia, which cannot be cured under any circumstances, unfortunately. Archaeology, wonderful. Uh, we'll take linguistics. I can still teach everyone over here. What do, what do, what do you actually do? Yeah, your management in... for your geology, isn't it? I believe, yeah. Uh, we'll increase your combat capability then, I guess. Now, you have combat capability, so anything that we can do to improve your combat capability would be nice. I don't know why I increased linguistics there, because you've got sociophobia. Everyone's got sociophobia, though, so... I mean, I guess it's just an occupational... an occupational hazard. It's fine, though. It's fine. Okay, uh, I think we're ready to set off. I can't remember what expedition I said I wanted to do. Not this one. It was the challenging one. Yeah, it was this. I will take some coffee. Oh, we've got- we need six. Well, this is a- this presents me with a good opportunity to go and see if we can try and get, uh... Get another employee. Wonderful. And let's make you sit down and learn something real quick. Archaeology? Sure. Archaeology seems like a pretty good thing to learn. Just as we're about to go on an archaeology-related mission. We're going to literally have to take absolutely everyone. Fantastic. Uh, we can take plus five to archaeology. Yeah, sure. We'll do that. I don't really think that we need it. As long as we have coffee, how bad could it be? There we go. John Stevens, when I deploy you, I'm going to have a little look to see how uh, coffee impacts your uh, your level of participation in group events. Grave robbers stole John Stevens' backpack with ancient maps and potential tombs. What a pity. That, 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 is, uh, that is a real bummer, actually. Right, linguistics. Do we have anyone that is linguistically oriented? You. And you. Actually, that's a pretty good combo. Yeah, ruthless success. You found Pippa? That's garbage. 300 pounds to 600 pounds in comparison to the last artifact that we found. That is... That is horrific. That is absolutely... Absolutely garbage. Uh, linguistics, again, as it just so happens. Turns out everyone's good at lin linguistics. They would just be a heck of a lot better if, uh, if they didn't have sociophobia. But there you go. Started to describe local insects in a notebook. What a wonderful pastime. What a truly, truly wonderful pastime. Uh, and linguistics, again, as it turns out, archaeology was uh, not required even slightly over the course of this expedition. So I feel a little bit, uh, a little bit miffed that I deployed a, uh, a item, an item specifically for the the benefit of uh, of the archaeology skills, and it didn't even didn't even end up coming in handy. Brilliant. We get a unit of coffee. Balloons. Now get to it. You've decided to be strict and honest with Benjamin. After a while, he reveals an embarrassing truth. Someone stole an artifact from his property. This item can throw into question the modern knowledge of human history. He says that you were one of the suspects, according to a private detective. However, your friend didn't believe the detective, so he wanted to give you a way to prove Benjamin's assumption. That's why he decided to fly a balloon together. Uh... He's done the right thing? What does that even mean? That's not even one of the responses that I would ever suggest is the right thing to say. Uh, okay, we ridiculously overpay for this land. Ridiculously so, but we get more land, and that is very, very important. Right, now, uh, Broyar is, uh, or whatever his name is, 
Boyar. Yeah, Boyar is going to be really, really interested in this plateau of mirrors right here. So I think I want to start things off and bid a fairly substantial amount of money for this. 1,600 bucks seems about reasonable. Now I want to try and have a little look at my uh, bit of land. Ivory Shores? Is it Ivory Shores? That's what I've got. Uh, pretty high fertility over here. Pretty high fertility. Cruise Steamboat. Negative features, urbanization, population density. Uh, to be honest, let's give it a shot. Let's absolutely give it a shot. Managers Exploration and Managers Linguistics. Managers Exploration. I tell you what, John Stevens, you might just be the perfect person for the job. I actually straight up think that you are. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna it's gonna suck that you're not able to uh, participate in expeditions. However, now that we're potentially able to get legendary explorers, I mean, that is that is a big, 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 big improvement. Uh, let's go to the press, see what's happening. Absolutely no one is interested in the press story, so... Let's, uh, let's just share our, share our story with absolutely everyone. There's a demand for something, which I have no idea what that is, but that's fine. Nothing in the labor market, as we've already checked. Uh, I'm just gonna buy, I'm gonna buy absolutely every item that I see. I also still have no idea how stimulants actually impact the game in any, in any reasonable way. Archaeology and history. I mean, archaeology, I think that we, I think we are probably best equipped to handle. Uh, we're going to need a sixth, a sixth dude, though, and we only have five dudes at the moment. So let's go back to the labor market, pick up somebody that's probably, probably you. Yeah. And let's go back to the quarters and we'll bump everyone's learning skill up. What was the, what was the expedition looking for? It was looking for archaeology and history. Yeah, archaeology and history. Look at this! This is such a garbage mission. A hundred bucks of, uh, of recompense. I mean, it would probably be successful, no doubt, but uh, that's pretty garbage. Uh, yeah, so archaeology, history, that's what we're after. So let's see if we can try and positively influence those skills this turn. That's useless. That's absolutely useless for me. Exploration, sure. Archaeology and history. That's pretty good. Arthur Evans, you're turning into a real, a real mean machine. Uh, archaeology, sure. Uh... We don't have enough money to do anything. All right, well, that kind of sucks, but that that is that is what it is. Let's uh, let's give it a shot. There we go. Wonderful. Really appreciate if we could get a few bottles of gin, mate. Look, come on. We've talked about this. We've talked about this. This is this is just not not good vibes. Okay, history. Let's um let's blow all of our points on. Let's blow all of our items on uh, on making sure that we've got a good loadout for history. Why not, right? I mean, if we've got the items, we might as well use them. Oh, goodness. The the music, music tone has shifted substantially. Right, 52. Ruthless success. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, hopefully we don't just get archaeology based. Uh, oh my, it's, it's happening. It's happening. We're just getting archaeology stuff. Ruthless success. We found a, 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 another Pippa. That's the second. That's the second Pippa we got. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's free money. Well, technically, it's not free money. Is anyone? Are we ever gonna get offered a non-archaeology based? Are we ever gonna get offered a non-archaeology based uh, test? Please. History, finally. Wonderful. But now we don't have anyone that's any good at history. I'm actually going to deploy you. Yeah. Ruthless success. Oh, beautiful. Oh my goodness. I mean, this is the greatest expedition of all time. Anyway, yeah. The reason that I... 
I think we'll be fine here actually as well, yeah. Uh, the reason that I didn't want to deploy the uh, the dude that had a slightly higher history value is because he also was pretty good at, uh, at archaeology. What is this? Three artifacts, two reputations, do come away with two fears. Uh, of course it's on Alfred because Alfred is just the guy. The guy where all the fears go. Got two units of coffee from your coffee plantations. Wonderful. Last expedition, right? Quite a success. Obviously, E.G. Squire's attitude has changed. There must have happened something dreadful. Uh, he returned with a new friend to keep his mind clear. You guessed correctly. It's opium. All right. All right. Great. Um, I mean, I feel like this is a lose-lose, right? Okay, he's acquired the, uh, the insane attitude. Okay, well, that's... Unfortunate. I end up ridiculously overpaying by about a thousand, a thousand pounds for, uh, for that very, very specific bit of land. But that's okay. That's fine. In demand, we don't have the statue. Uh, we don't have the, the statue that is required. We do have a bunch of stuff that we can sell on the black market. However, as I've already said, I don't want to. I don't want to sell it. We should only use the black market as sort of a, a last resort if we actually need the cash. And let's be real, right? We've got the uh, we've got the casino, which is generating a significant amount of money anyway, so that's quite nice. Uh, build property. What can we build here? Fertility and managers. Geology for a coffee plantation. We've already got a coffee plantation. Tobacco plantation would not be the worst idea in the world. Exclusive club. Training center? I think we want to buy a training center. Yeah, let's get a training center up here. This seems this seems pretty good. Uh, and let's just assign our best all-rounder. Which actually might be... Actually might be EG Squire. Given that he's just recently gone insane. Maybe he wouldn't be the worst person to put into the... To put into the field. At... Uh, to put into the to put into the area. Although in saying that, I kinda just wanna I kinda just wanna stick yeah, let's just stick you. Let's just stick you in here, sure. I mean I know I just brought you on board, but you're instantly gonna be uh put into management. Cool. Okay. Press. Anyone Oh, level of interest. Hooked! Wonderful. Give the exclusive license. Brilliant. And we received a favor. I mean, if you guys were hooked, do you not think that you could have, you know. I don't know, given me a few more than one favor? Right, let's try and pick up all of the equipment that we could possibly need. We've got a heck of a lot of items, that's fine. I mean... I'll hire... both of you? I can't actually hire you because we've already used 10 of our 10 spaces. Yeah. Hostile territory, that's absolutely not something that we can do. We require eight explorers. Five explorers. Five explorers. And they're both hard. Recompense, zero. I mean, why don't we do this? Yeah, okay, we'll do this one. So, we want to try and prioritize uh, linguistics. E.G. Squire, I mean, look, I'm going to try and change your attitude. Change to more, change to more secure. Yeah, absolutely. Linguistics is what we're after. Survival probably is what we want to bump up here. Arthur Evans. Archaeology. Yep. Turns out linguistics is... Uh... Yeah, linguistics is actually not super bad. I think that we've got a couple of items which we can use to modify linguistics. So that's what we're going to try and do. Do 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 do. Richard Steffi. Sure. I don't have the money to do that, so that's fine. Okay, let's go on our uh, let's go on our last expedition for the episode. Linguistics, that's what we're gonna do. Uh you're not super great at linguistics. Neither are you. You are. You are. You're not terrible. You are terrible. Sure. Okay, but we can I think we can bump up 
people's linguistics? I am so wrong. Apparently we used it. Apparently we used it up. Uh, let me take a crate of coffee and a crate of gin. Sure. Right, I'm a little bit nervous about this one, actually. If we get a lot of linguistics tests, we, um, we might just fail it. I think at the moment, though, it should be, should be totally fine. Linguistics, 48%. Wonderful. A success. That was a linguistics plus test, so, uh, you know, we gotta make sure that we, uh, we give it the, the due respect that it deserves. I think we'll try with Richard here. Unforgettable failure, plus one to logistics. Yeah, that's kind of what I was worried about. But I'm kind of expecting another linguistics plus test. Geology? Alright, thankfully, E.G. Squire is, uh, is decent at geology. Well, that is very, very lucky. Still expecting another linguistics test before the end of the, uh... Before the end of the run. Ugh. This might be our last opportunity for a linguistics test, so I'm gonna stick you in. Failure? Really? Okay, I mean, this is a little bit unexpected, to be honest. Linguistics plus, and there is the linguistic- There is the linguistics plus test. There is the linguistics plus test that I was oh so- Oh so confident wasn't gonna happen. So I think, yeah, that'll be a- That'll definitely be a failed expedition. We do pick up a fear on Arthur Evans. <sighs> to be honest, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world by any means. Get one unit of coffee. 900 bucks from the casino. That casino actually is legitimately keeping us keeping us good. Uh, I'm not going to pay the salary. You've got a strike. It's your first strike. You have two strikes left. We've heard you have some problems with the budget. Here's a thousand, uh, thousand pounds to do better next time. Fine. Thank you very much. I didn't bid on the, the land? What? Oh, that's stupid. Fire Arthur Evans. Oh, goodness gracious me. Okay, where did Broyar... Oh, he got East Midlands over there. Okay, a little bit of a bummer. I need to pick this up, so I'm gonna try and... I'm gonna offer a ridiculously large amount of money. I'm gonna bid 1,200 bucks for this. For Nightmare Woods, because I've already got one property in the area. Uh, speaking of that one property in the area, hopefully that should start coming good and I might be able to pick up somebody on the labor market who's not terrible. Nope. Nope. Still a lot of people that are absolutely garbage. Right, wonderful. You're interested. Brilliant. Give the exclusive license. What? What? But you were interested. You jerk. There we go. Sure. Give uh, give the Imperial Bulletin people uh, some coffee. I, I don't know why that matters at all, but there you go. Uh, nobody on the labor market. No warehouse. Fine. Merchant company. Yeah, we're working on it. Demand for this portrait thing. I don't think that's... Uh, thing that I have in my inventory at the moment, so we're not going to be able to deal with that. Arthur Evans, I ended up firing. Honestly, fine. Let me pick up... Let me pick up you, sure. And let's see what the expeditions actually are. So combat, combat capability and exploration. Linguistics, what was this again? I think we want combat capability and exploration. Yeah. Combat capability and exploration. Let's go back to the quarters and let's improve everyone's combat capability slash exploration. Brilliant. Combat capability and exploration. Well, nothing, so I'm going to pump, uh, pump that into linguistics instead. Richard Steffi. Combat capability, Brill, combat capability. All right, fantastic. Fantastic. Is there anything else that remains to be done? I don't think so. Not particularly. Oh, I was uh, going to pick up a couple of these bits and bobs. Can't actually do that. That's fine. As it stands, can't pick you up at the moment. Expeditions, we are just about ready to go. 
it looks like we're uh, we're 10 out of 30 rounds, which is not too bad. Uh, we're going to progress in the next episode. In the next episode, to the uh, to the next group of rounds. So, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, thank you oh so much for watching this uh, this here episode of Archio Shinar. Thanks as ever to my fantastic patrons who helped make videos like this possible. I'll see you next time. Bye.